Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan Montgomery, the real estate appraiser, and I am often involved in transactions. I'm doing the appraisals involved in transactions that are done for fix and flippers or investors, especially investors that are going to be using the burst strategy. But I see a very, there is a common mistake that I often see, especially with inexperienced investors when they are involved in that transaction that I want to talk to you about the mistake and then how to avoid it. But first, do me a favor. Um, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so that you get, get notifications about when I'll be, uh, when I put out a new video. I want to continue to put out new content that talks about real estate um, from an appraiser's perspective because we definitely have a unique perspective um, when it comes to real estate. And I want to share that with you so that it'll help you improve in your real estate um, decision making. The first thing, let's talk about the typical investor. We're talking about fix and flippers or Burr investors. Now, Burr investors, if you don't know what Burr is, it means to buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and then repeat. So there's this acronym, it spells out the acronym Burr. It's very popular if you listen to Bigger Pockets. Um, oh, I forgot the guy's name, it wasn't David Green. Uh, but anyway, they kind of coined that phrase, that, that term rather. And it's pretty popular and it is an effective strategy for investing in real estate. So I, I'm often an appraiser uh, that is helping the lender when they are financing a Burr transaction or a fix and flip transaction. So they'll call me up and they will often ask for an as is value and then they'll ask for the after renovation value, which we normally call the ARV. And this is where the mistake happens. So the after renovation value is the value after the home has been renovated. I'm gonna look at what they are projecting that they are going to do to this home, whether it's just gonna, are they just doing a little bit of a cosmetic job or are they doing a full gut renovation? And based on what they are telling me, I'm gonna determine what the value of that home will be when it's done. So it's a pretty common um, scenario that I'm involved in. And actually it's pretty cool because I like seeing the create creativity that's involved with these investors. Now, here's the problem. The problem is the ARV and especially with rookie investors, often they are over projecting what they, they think the ARV will be. And this usually stems from them choosing the wrong comps. So here's what I think happens. They understand, maybe their lender will tell them, these are the parameters that, you, that appraisers use to find comps. Square footage, bedroom, bathroom, and distance, right? And I believe the lenders often will tell them or somehow they find out in one of those real estate guru classes that appraisers can go out one mile or a half a mile or whatever that is, some distance, usually it's a mile, for comps. And so they take that to heart and then they use that to determine the comps that they're going to use for projecting their investment. However, that is not true, especially like if I'm working in Washington, DC, if I'm in DC or if I'm working up in Baltimore, those urban areas, you can't go out a mile for comps because you're gonna be in a whole different part of the city. It doesn't even make sense. It's ridiculous. But I see this happen time and time again, especially with rookie investors. Avoid this mistake. What you ought to do is look at that neighborhood Okay, start in close proximity and then expand a little bit, but as much as you can stay in close proximity to the house that you're, 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 that you're working on. If it's your subject property, we call it the subject property. Okay, avoid going out too far, especially if you know that you're gonna end up in other neighborhoods. Stay within that neighborhood because you want to understand first it's going to protect your asset 
you want you don't want to get upside down on a on an investment property you want to avoid that as much as possible you don't want to convince a lender to give you too much money on a property and then years and years later you can't dispose of it all right so it's protecting your investment it's protecting the investor's investment so what you ought to do is determine what are the highest value comps in that immediate neighborhood okay and then be a little bit conservative with that number so if the comps are selling at if the arv comps are selling at five hundred thousand dollars but you see some that are selling for 475 base your projections off of the 475. now if you get five hundred thousand later when you're done that's awesome that's perfect that's great that is going to protect you but you don't want to go into that deal believing that you need to get five hundred thousand dollars in order for it to work that is going to put you in trouble now the second thing you ought to do is make sure that your property or what you are projecting you are going to do is comparable to what works in that neighborhood the last thing you want to do is spend money and over improve for the neighborhood so it makes sense to not only look at the photos of the of the comps don't just look at the online photos but actually if you get an opportunity go inside some of your your competing properties the ones that have been renovated and see what those investors have been doing now if you're in a brand new market that's the wild wild west and if, and and if you're a rookie investor i usually suggest be cautious okay because i see rookie investors they'll go for it now i've seen some experienced investors who have, have a track record and they'll go into a brand new neighborhood or a new market and try to break ground on on, on renovations in the, in there but they can handle it because they have the financial backing so again be conservative with your comps don't try to go out too far in distance so that you can get a higher value and then try to um, use that for your projections because what might happen what's likely going to happen i mean you have no idea how the future appraiser is going to view that property most appraisers will look at that property and they'll say the, this is what's happening in that neighborhood and they're going to determine their value conclusion based off of that immediate neighborhood all right so i hope that helps you if you're an agent please share this information with your clients who are, who are investing if they're fix and flipping or burr investors um i just don't you know i want everybody to succeed so i will talk to you next time and i'm going to even talk some more in the future about choosing comps because i that's an area where i think a lot of a lot of investors especially make big mistakes and it messes up their transactions okay they could actually have more success if they learn to choose the best comps especially for arv in the meantime i will talk to you later bye bye